CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening, thank you for being here. Nanaimo City Council has made it official. The city's popular colliery dams will be removed. The city says safety must take precedent over history. And despite the emotional attachment that many people in the Harbour City have to the dams, the 100-year-old structures are, the city says, putting lives at risk. CTV's Chandler Grieve has the story. He joins us now from our Nanaimo newsroom with the tales. Chandler. Yes, Hudson, this time last night we were discussing the impending decision by council to remove the two colliery dams here in Nanaimo. Well, as expected, that motion was passed after council was given a report saying the dams are unsafe if a natural disaster occurs here on the May Island. But as I found out today, the colliery dams is much more than just a body of water. For many, it is a Nanaimo landmark. You see that one jump out there? They're in here, eh? <laughs> He has been testing the waters at the colliery dams for decades. You come here just to relax. It doesn't matter if they bite or not, you know. Sometimes. But bulldozers will soon shatter the silence of his morning sanctuary. Oh, I'm pretty choked. Well, I heard that they may be filling in these two beautiful lakes in this beautiful park that's in the middle of our beautiful city. And then Imo City Council has unanimously passed a motion to remove the lower and middle colliery dams. The city says it has no choice in the matter. A study revealed the dams have outlived their usefulness and wouldn't hold up in a disaster. Uh, we're not going to wait until there's a catastrophe and then say, gee, we should have acted. Now, this is the Trans-Canada Trail that we're standing on. and City engineers say they considered all options, including restoring the century-old landmarks. But in the end, the danger to neighbouring communities was too significant to ignore. Um, if we had an earthquake like the one that happened a couple of days ago at Haida Gwaii, it would be uh, quite a disaster for these dams. They would breach, and what that means is the water would overtop through down the Chase River and through the community. A day after the decision is made, city staff go door to door, handing out information packets to the Harewood community. Those living directly below the dam between Howard and Park Avenue could see a significant surge of water if the dams were to break. Inside the packages are recommended evacuation routes if the dams fold before they are removed next summer. I can see that people would be concerned because it is a beautiful park and we go there t from time to time with the girls as well. But I mean, you know, first and foremost comes our safety. Back up at the dam, many walking the trails understand the decision but are disappointed that an Nanaimo landmark will soon be gone. There's just so many memories that people had built around you know this area and this park and everything like that and with them taking out the dam and everything now it will just change it right it won't be the same you know it's it's going to be upsetting it's going to be a loss it's going to be another loss the city says the project will leave the colliery park even better than it was before with improved trails and paths and a restored chase river but for fishermen and swimmers decades worth of memories at the dam will soon be washed away. Now, the city of Nanaimo was anticipating plenty of questions and concerns to arise from this project. They're holding two information sessions next week. Uh, if you want to attend those sessions, uh, you can find out information about them on the city's website. Now, the city wants to reiterate that the dams currently are stable. There's no worry right now, but as uh, Mayor John Rattan pointed out, they're not waiting for a catastrophe. But Hudson, uh, as we saw today, uh, where those dams are located, many people in Nanaimo hold that area very dear to their heart and will have a tough time when the bulldozers uh, roll in next summer. Hudson. All right. Chan a sentimental attachment for sure, Chandler. Thank you.